What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can animate your Insta stories right from your iOS device. So the way we're gonna do this is by using an app called HypeType. Now the way this works is you just add a photo, whatever you want, and then you can just add whatever text you want. So you double tap the text, and let's say you wanna say, check out my new post. You can save that text and then it'll animate that text for you. But you can actually select the text options and you can change the animation that it has. You can have it outline the text if you want. You can have it kind of just slam in there. You can have it slide in, focus in. There's tons of different options you can choose. And once you've actually chosen the animation you want, you can then change the color that the text uses. Now you can actually use a couple of different colors. You'll see I'm using this green, white, and gray. So you'll see it starts out with the white and then it fills in with the green. But you can choose from a ton of other colors. But what's really cool is you can actually blur the background as that text fades on. So this is really nice if you have a ton of text and you don't want it to be conflicting with the background so it's really easy to read. Now when you are adding text, you do actually have a couple options here. If you don't feel like writing a caption, you can actually just hit this quote button and it'll generate a caption for you, which is pretty cool. It'll just shuffle through a bunch of presets. But if you have a ton of text, maybe you're writing out a couple paragraphs, you actually have multiple pages which you can write on. So if we wanted to say, check out my new post, and then we wanted to scroll over, we could say something like, it's pretty cool. You can slide over again and then say something else like, like and comment. Now while it does actually animate between all of those, it does go pretty quickly, so you don't wanna to add too much text, otherwise people might not be able to read it. Now you can also change the crop if you want. You can just tap that middle icon and you can change it from portrait to a square and then a landscape orientation. Now if we take a look at the last menu, this is actually where you can change the duration of the animations, but you can also add music. So you can change the duration by just tapping on the text and then changing it from either a 0.5 times, 0.75, one times, or double time, which would be the fastest. Now the green is gonna be how long the background blurs for, so if you want that to be really slow, you can go all the way to the left, but if you just want it to be a really quick animation, you can change it to two times. And you can also flip the orientation if you want, but I'm not really sure how helpful that will be if you actually want people to know what the background is. Now, like I said, you can add music, so if we just tap that menu, you can actually input any music from Apple Music. So you do have to have a subscription to Apple Music, but this is really nice because you're not just limited to whatever songs you've purchased in your iTunes library, you can really use any song out there. So if we just tap a random song here, you'll see that the music plays as that animation comes on. Now unfortunately there's not really any way to fade in the music and fade it out, so it is kind of abrupt, but in my opinion you can really do all the animation you want here in this app, and then if you want to add sound effects or music you could bring it into a separate app, but it's pretty cool that they have this feature built in. Now you'll notice that there is a watermark at the top right of the screen, it just says made with hype type, but you can actually remove that, I believe it's only $1.99 to remove that watermark. But if we go back into the text animations, you'll notice that we can actually buy a ton of other animations like this handwritten effect or this other focus flicker effect here. So in my opinion, it's worth it to actually unlock everything where you get all the other animation packs and you get to remove that watermark for only a dollar more. Now one thing I don't like about this app is you can't actually change the font size or change the font. Now, when you go into animate different text, it's actually changing the font inside of those animations. So that's okay, but the only way to really scale down the text is just to pinch and zoom. Now you can make it smaller, which is nice, and you can actually rotate it, but one thing that really bugs me is that you can't actually snap to a grid like Instagram has. This is just a huge pet peeve of mine because if you decide to rotate it and then you end up liking it, you can't actually get it back to a perfect zero degrees and you actually will never know if you're perfectly centered on the canvas. And Instagram, you guys are probably familiar with the grid lines that'll appear when you're trying to center it, and those just aren't on this app, so that's one thing that just really bugs me. So once you're done with the animation, you can just hit that check mark, you can save the video, or you can publish it to Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And honestly, you don't actually have to spend any money if you don't mind seeing that watermark. It's not even that obvious once you export it, it's just in the bottom right corner. So you'll see once I play this, it just sits there at the bottom right. It's not that bad and people probably won't notice it, but if it is bugging you, you can choose to upgrade that. 
So the reason I chose to review this app is I think a lot of people want their Instagram accounts to stand out. And I think Insta Stories is one of the best ways to do that. A lot of people will just grab their phone and film something randomly. And while the quality may be good, it's not really anything different from what other people are doing. But if you use this app, you can add text to all of your photos and your Insta Stories, and it can really change the look of your Instagram account. So that's really it for this app, but this video is gonna be kicking off a series that I actually wanna start on a bunch of different apps that will help you to manage your Instagram and other social media accounts. And just before you guys go, make sure you join my Discord group if you haven't already. That's where you can actually ask me questions and post any video suggestions, so definitely be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.